going on guys? It's, I'm AJ. It's Davis Drives. Don't be shy. Come on in. Tim, roll the intro. Welcome back to the channel. We got a pretty exciting one for you today. Just so happened we had a onslaught of square bodies and something on this side too that's a little bit extra special. All in the same spot at the same time. It's just a fraction, but we decided to line them up. A couple of them have just sold. AJ's getting those prepped over there. We're gonna kind of run through the lineup and I'm gonna show you some really interesting stuff in the world of square bodies, classic Chevys. Again, this is just a absolute fraction, but you know, a lot of people love these trucks and they're growing in uh, popularity very fast. So we'll go run through them one by one, just show you some cool things that we love. Other people seem to love because they're buying them like they're hotcakes. And then we'll go skip over to some other stuff that you just do not see. More than likely, you probably will never see ever again on the same parking lot at the same time. So look forward to this episode. All right, we're going to start right here with a very, very unique Chevrolet Dually. This truck spent its whole life in Virginia, right here local. One of our very, very good customers, that's a square body freak, picked this truck up from the original owner, original paint, and other than two or three slight modifications, this truck is still all original. 1987 K30 single cab dually, 454 big block with the throttle body fuel injection. Perfect dash. It has an upgraded Choo Choo Custom seat which was a factory option that you could upgrade, an aftermarket steering wheel, and a gooseneck ball. We put six new tires on it because the old ones were dry rotted. It's got some moderate little bubbling rust here and there, but that's a rare truck. That is a rare truck right there. So coming around to number two in this 
actual lineup that is for sale. The dually's for sale too. This truck was a customer of ours local. Two wheel drive, converted to four wheel drive. And then he commissioned us in the shop, Davis Off Road with Daniel and Brian, to drop a big block in it, to do a little bit of lift kit modifications, some Fox shocks. He wanted the low profile, tire and wheel look, kind of old school, Hawaiian style. Uh, we did a few other things. He put the surfboard racks up on the top and he wanted to keep it patina. And this guy rides around in brand new trucks. I mean, this was a toy to him, but the patina look is what he went for and he killed it on this one. Though it has some cosmetic rust, it is cosmetic. The chassis, the frame, the undercarriage, brand new transmission, rebuilt transfer case, drive lines are fresh and a pretty nasty sounding big block. So this truck surprisingly is still for sale. You can check it out on the website. So this one here is a K10 factory 4x4 truck that is a complete survivor as far as rust free. You have to go to our website to see the pictures of this truck and to absolutely appreciate it one bit. Complete OE restoration, new springs, new bolts and hardware and bushings, new shocks, BF Goodrich era correct tires. Of course they changed the design, but that's what this truck would have been upgraded to immediately. The seat has been changed, but this truck still has the factory cardboard behind the seat that GM put in there to keep the noise down. Uh, laser straight body, not a speck of rust, not a speck of Bondo that we can see. Now, we did not do the paintwork, but we've been over this truck thoroughly on the rack. The exhaust is new. The transmission, the transfer case has been rebuilt. Uh, motor runs perfect and appears to have also been rebuilt. Not a speck of undercarriage rot everything crisp the floor pans look like they were put in this truck yesterday so barrett jackson anybody that watches knows square bodies have been bringing ridiculous money that's barrett jackson that is the truck that rolls across matter of fact i've seen some of the barrett jackson trucks that were not as nice as this so if you're looking for a good square body this one is still for sale at this moment several people have inquired we just shot some videos of it today and some facetime but it's currently available and it is one of the nicest regular cab long bed unmessed with trucks that you will find other than pinpoint proper restoration so old red here <clears throat> i'm very partial to red my square body personal truck is red this truck is seeing believing so again you'll have to go to the website to check the video also check the youtube where we go underneath this truck on the video this truck right here is bar none as nice as the black one underneath crisp perfect rust free georgia truck titled and proper from Georgia most all its life. We have documents on file. Restoration the same way. It appears motor trans and transfer case and drive line are brand new or little miles. Very proper tires as well with the generals on it. Step side truck, four speed truck. Now it says Scottsdale 20. There's not a lot of history with these trucks so we're just gonna call it a 10. You know, four wheel drive K10 truck. Whether a 20 was an option for like a forestry truck with a step side and six lug, we've seen it. But to know that a short bed was available, we had a we had a regular cab, long bed step side, forestry truck that was a 20 series, still six lug. So those naysayers, we know that that was a factory built truck that way. So uh, just don't know on this one, but VIN number doesn't tell you much. Four speed, clean as a pin, and not a drop of rust in this truck whatsoever. All right, so not to get you too excited, we've been on a roll with square bodies that are available, and I can't remember except for back in the 80s, in the 70s, when my dad ran things, that we ever had this many square bodies at one time available. These next two, we had to get in the video. They're getting ready to ship out, unfortunately. This one sold to a guy in New York. That one sold to a guy in Utah. But these were two very, very cool trucks. Of course, the uh, round body may not be considered a square body to everybody. This one though, K5 Blazer, had a LT interior swap out of a newer Suburban or Tahoe. Lift kit, sniper fuel injection, headers, exhaust, lift kit, probably said that already, hostile tires and wheels, and also extremely rust free. The Blazers are a little different than square bodies. Square bodies you want to check the cab uh, supports, you want to check the bed supports where they set on the frame with a K5. There's a little rocker box, we call it, a couple little pieces of sheet metal under there that catch dirt, debris, crisp, like literally crisp. You can't duplicate that stuff. I've got a square body I've had since high school, K5 Blazer, 
and I whacked mine off 15, 20 years ago because it was rusty. It looked bad. To find one that all that stuff's OE, and you can't fake that. You can't fake bed supports. You can't fake the cab supports and the other things on these trucks. You can hide rocker panels, and you can hide cab corners. But the stuff underneath of these trucks, every single one of them right now, actually, is as crisp as you can find, which is far none off the charts. Lucky. The 60s model, or I think 69 or 70, that truck was, that was an LS swap truck. Four-wheel drive converted truck, so it started life as a two-wheel drive. We completed a lot of things on that truck. We put the front drive shaft in it. Nobody takes the time to do. We had to modify that for the LS swap and a few other mods in-house. And uh, that turned out to be a great truck. That's going to a private collection, uh, like I said, I think in Utah. So they're getting ready to receive a really killer nice truck. So not to spoil things for everybody out there, but one reason there's such a square body shortage in this world is, like this one here, this is a personal truck. This is actually my middle brother in lines 16 year old daughter's truck we have dozens upon dozens upon dozens of personal square bodies that we have been hoarding up for years but this one here he built for his daughter with his daughter as a father daughter project and she helped along the way legitimately he wouldn't do it if she didn't help and this is show quality truck crossover steering best of the suspension you can do every nut and bolt they did the interior themselves sitting on boggers 14 inch wide weld racing wheels don't see those anymore we got those out of the package brand new from weld when we were a weld dealer before weld closed and before we bought weld out that'll be another episode but when weld closed we got everything we bought the whole warehouse of weld stuff go to our old youtube you'll see it but short bed cow hood spray and liner smoothie bumpers crossover steering crossover track bar high steer knuckles they don't get much better so very proud of that truck him and his daughter built that one uh, he happened to be driving it to work today so we said heck put it out here with the rest of them so we can show people what kind of ability and if you really want to see a nut bolt properly built truck everybody loves things different some don't like boggers some don't like lifts but this truck is street friendly street drivable fuel injected updated motor every bell and whistle you could ask for has been done on that one so that's the potential we have here to build those trucks. Well, I say here, up at the off-road shop, uh, and then the ones you saw that we bring you to sell, between the two things, you can't beat us at a square body. All right, guys, make sure you catch the next episode, Davis Drives. We're gonna bring you some six-door trucks like you've never seen before. Everything from brand spanking new, custom built with a hauler bed, to an excursion six-door like Shack Drives, to our custom personal tow rig, three trucks in the same spot at the same time that are custom as you will ever find and to top it off a three day old platinum that's already sitting on 26 inch american forces 37s fox shocks and every box you could check at ford for what we ordered on that truck in pearl white so again we just threw a couple things together that happened to be in the mix but we're gonna bring you a killer episode for that one stuff that you have never seen and you'll probably never see at the same place at the same time again thanks for watching hope you like what you see please like and subscribe and again this is davis drives catch you on the next video stay tuned next time hopefully i won't have my glasses on aj thinks that's funny <laughs> <laughs> but I won't be blind I'll be able to see the sun won't be in my eyes we'll get something done <laughs> so as we can see Mike's not there we saw him out back we know he was faking being on the telephone because there's no way there's no way he knows how to use a cell phone but, uh, he does have a rotary phone over there he knows how to use that pretty well want to introduce you guys to Christian. He came to us, uh, father and grandfather been in the car business and uh, maybe before that even, but uh, he's a new fixture here with Davis Auto. He'll be the one you're talking to on the phone. He'll be the one helping you out with some paperwork. Uh, of course, Ms. Davis in the background there, getting her job done today. And uh, all these guys are getting ready to roll out because they got to finish this video up. So you got to get some rolling shots and some videos taken. So we'll be in the office getting things done. <coughs> All right, guys. Thank oh, 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 oh. you. Oh. All right, cool. oh. All right.
Action. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Glad you can be along with us. Thank you. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs>